Centers for Disease Control and Prevention describe necrotizing fasciitis, commonly referred to as flesh-eating bacteria, as a bacterial infection of the tissue under the skin that surrounds muscles, nerves, fat, and blood vessels. Necrotizing fasciitis can result in a loss of limbs and even death, so an accurate diagnosis, rapid antibiotic treatment, and prompt surgery are important for stopping this type of infection. The CDC reports that the most common way of getting necrotizing fasciitis is when the bacteria enter the body through a break in the skin, including through cuts and scrapes, burns, insect bites, puncture wounds, and surgical wounds. Early symptoms of necrotizing fasciitis listed by the agency include a red or swollen area of skin that spreads quickly, severe pain, including pain beyond the area of the skin that is red or swollen, and fever. The CDC also reports that many types of bacteria can cause this type of infection, including Group A Streptococcus or Group A Strep, Bacterioides, Klebsiella, Clostridium, E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, and Aeromonas hydrophila. Fortunately, necrotizing fasciitis is rare and a person's chance of getting it is extremely low if they have a strong immune system and practice good hygiene and proper wound care. Most people who get necrotizing fasciitis have other health problems according to the CDC that may lower their body's ability to fight infection. Some of these conditions include diabetes, kidney disease, and cancer. These are just a few things to know about necrotizing fasciitis and some of the types of bacteria that are associated with infection. To learn more about this or other environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.